Welcome to Pro Celebrity Golf for 1979. We've returned again to the Glen Eagles Hotel in the midst of Perthshire and the magnificent Queen's Course. For the next ten weeks, we'll be bringing you what we hope you'll enjoy tremendously, a match between professionals and amateurs. The amateurs, of course, representing a team of sportsmen and entertainers. And first, let's go to the captain of the winning side last year, Henry Cooper, with the sportsman once again. Henry, yeah. you, 78 was such a great year for you. You seem to be winning everything. Are you confident of your team this year? I think so, yes. Yeah. I think we done well last year. I think we'll, all the boys are in a confident mood. Some good boys. Oh, good boys, big strong lads, <laughs> yes. And uh, I've given them a good talking to, so uh, oh my God. I think they're going to do their best, yeah. And, of course, the <laughs> captaining the entertainer side and losing captain last year, ah. the pride of Scotland himself, Sean Connery. Sean, welcome again to Glen Eagles Hotel. Thank you. Well, uh, I have yet to win as captain. Ah. But they say that if you win or lose three times, you're entitled to take it home with you. I haven't found out yet what I'm going to take, but I think we've got a match today that's going to end them all. Because Seve uh, plays quite a lot down in Spain where I live, and uh, he said he's going to straighten me out. And I've been talking to Henry last night, so I think he's totally confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're playing for this magnificent uh, Marley Trophy, and opposing them are the rival professionals, and we're delighted this year to have two of the greatest with us. Undoubtedly the most exciting golfer, whether it be it young or middle-aged in the world today, Severiano Ballesteros. Seves, delighted we are to see you with us. Oh, thank you. Well, uh, it's nice to be here, and uh, I hope uh, we win. <laughs> How's your feel? And I also hope we'll have a very good game. I, I'm sure you will. And the other and last member of this great team, <laughs> winner, former winner of the British and the American Open Championship and so many other tournaments, one of sport's greatest and most lovable characters, himself, Lee Trevino. Lee. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. I'm looking forward to, to all these matches. And uh, I've had the pleasure of, of playing with, with Sean uh, maybe, I think it was six years ago. In, in Troon when he had his pro-am there, but we've already decided that uh, if we get beat today, we're going to invite him to the back of the clubhouse because I have Henry Cooper with me, <laughs> and I think I, I think I'm going to be referee. But uh, no lessons, no lessons for Henry because he plays left-handed, and I don't know anything about left-handed golf. <laughs> Well, so while they go to the first tee, let me tell you what rules and regulations we're playing under. As usual, it's a Stapleford system, over nine selected holes at the Queen's course. Stapleford system, that means one for a one-over par, two for a par, three for a birdie, four for an eagle. We top them all up, and obviously the one with the most points wins. So we come to the first hole on the Queen's course, Tristan Tree. The meeting tree, 416 yards. A very pleasant par four, swinging away across a little bit of a valley from the tee, up and round from right to left. Very beautiful setting indeed. Going round, and look at the lovely oak hills in the background. And there's the first tee, and on the tee are four gladiators. First to drive, Lee Trevino. Uh, I'm not nervous. Okay. Don't get nervous. Beautiful. And from there he'll play up to the green, just tucked under that back. Now, Ballesteros. That majestic, wide, free swing up the left side, just skirts the edge of the rough. Perfectly okay. Now our celebrities, sportsmen, play from a tee some 30 yards further up. First to go, Henry Cooper. Both the amateurs receive a stroke. And Henry, rather an ungainly looking swing, but my word how effective he is. That's okay. Another little slice like that and you go right around the trees. Yes. <laughs> and finally, captaining the uh, celebrity side, Sean Connery. Oh. It's coming back, it's coming, it's okay. Cries of okay from Trevino, and away they go. Hey, I told Henry. I'll keep your eye on me there. <laughs> I think you can bend it around there. Yeah, I can hit on that bunker. Uh -huh. Hope we get it around the corner. Went forward together. Yeah. 
Well, all very technical stuff. Henry aiming at the bunker and hoping for a slice. You can see the big fir trees up ahead and a bit more difficult than it looks. Good Too straight. Yeah, it's just fell straight down. Time? Oh, it's a good one. Oh, That's a good one. That. It's a short right hook, though. <laughs> hey. <laughs> a good hit, but uh, no fade. Henry just up short of the green in two. Now, Sean Connery. Five iron. He was uh, further time. left. Oh, and he's man. prodded it up. Hey. Yeah. Just short the front of the green. Now Trevino for the three iron, one of the great shot makers in the game of golf. Very individual style, it's the ball very low yeah. and that's online, beautiful shot. Look at that, what an opening second shot for Lee Trevino. <laughs> that looked like a long putt, didn't it? <laughs> and finally, Ballesteros with an eight iron. Trevino just placing one, pushing one forward with a three. And Severiano trying to pull it round the trees. And just doesn't get enough. And he's just alongside Henry's. Try to hand the ball? No. Yeah, about... Ballesteros asking uh, Sean whether he's going to chip it or run it. He decides to try the, the pitch shot. Hits it a little bit heavy and now wishes he'd played one along the ground. A little bit of a dub from Sean. Henry Cooper's third shot. Tricky one. Green slightly raised. Now he keeps that one along the ground. Will it stop? No, a bit fierce. Henry gets a stroke, as indeed a Sean Connery. That time, a little bit edgy again. Caught the ground, but he's got it up well for distance. Just a little bit wider the target. Ballesteros, third shot, little pitching wedge. Plays so many of these shots with great touch. Oh, look at that. Delightful little checking pitch. And that'll be a par four for Ballesteros. Just tap this in and he'll start his side off with two points. Next to play will be Henry Cooper. Quite a longish putt. Good putter, Henry Cooper. Good touch, good feel for pace. And that's a good opener. Well, well. Said the right thing there. Henry Cooper holds a long putt for a four. And with his stroke, that's a net three and three points. I'm glad I misread it. It's almost a stay. Yeah? Yeah. Just some edge. Not much. No much, just the edge. Come on now, Sean, don't miss this, for goodness sake. This is for a five, a net four, and two points if he holds it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. well done, sir. Very good. <laughs> a little bit of a struggle, but two points. Now, Trevino for a three. Oh, I didn't oh, no, hit sir. it. Didn't hit it. Two points for Trevino. Disappointed after that beautiful second. So they go on to the second. The sportsman taking an early lead. Five points to the entertainers. Four. Fifth hole. 356 yards. Male witch. Meaning of all not now. Nice hole. And Trevino on the tee.
right down the middle again. One of the straightest, the most controlled golfers, I suppose, the game's ever seen. In contrast to this young man, who really is very much the cavalier. <coughs> Taking a spoon or a three wood, giving it plenty of air, and it holds the fairway down the right. Just leaving him a little pitch, short pitch up to the green. Henry. And he's all right. Just same line as Severiano. And finally, Sean Connery. Resplendent Tartan Trues. Okay. Oh, Ooh, a bit of you're a... Saving, you're saving the insert for the last three holes, eh? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit thin, but he's all right. <laughs> that was my favorite statement to, <laughs> to Doug Sanders. You know, Doug Sanders. You know, you know, Doug, yeah. Dougie. He's he's just he just he's about had it with playing, really. I mean, you know, he doesn't play much anymore. You know how he gets dirty. He gets dirty. Yeah. <laughs> he gets. He uses all portions of the club for the exception of the middle. I mean, he hits it on the toe, in the heel, on the string here, on the winding, everywhere. <laughs> And I told him, I said, I said, you're saving the, what are you saving the insert for? <laughs> huh? He wants to will that to one of his kids, I guess, or something. Well, a bit of carefree chat. And it's Sean Connery's second shot. Five iron, and that's a little bit right, and almost gets the souvenir. Yeah. Just pushes it down the right. Henry Cooper's second shot with a six iron. And that's on the same line. Cries of four, and look at, oh, I say a dangerous corner indeed, and a fortunate bounce. Henry just comes onto the padding surface. Yeah, when it hit the ground. <laughs> Bellasteros, having used a three wood from the tee, playing a very gentle nine iron. Oh, so easy, beautifully controlled. Is it up? Yes, unlucky. Now Trevino, little eight iron, little pitch, a little punch shot. Beautifully controlled, true artiste at the game. Come on, good shot. Well, the first hole was a real uh, eye-opener, Henry. You whipped one in right across the green. You were left in the classic position. I, I, was, one I, was, putt. I got the choke in. I got the choke. Everybody got made nervous. long ones. I got nervous. I left it short. <laughs> I, I knew you must have been a bit yeah. cross because you outdrove the uh, the kids from Spain from the tee there. Oh, here? Yeah. Yes, but he only hit a four-wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's Connery with the six-iron. Not bad at all. Trundling up. Next, Ballesteros from the edge of the green. Struck it right, well. Right. Oh, yeah. And look at that. Right to the whole side. So that's a four for Ballesteros and two points. So near, and yet so far. Oh, Henry Cooper. After that rather fortunate bounce off the bank. Cutting for a three. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Okay. Good. Plenty of encouragement, but it didn't disappear. Now Trevino for a three. And... Oh, I thought it would come to the right. Thought I'd made it. Can I hit it? A four. Mm. And two points. Finally, Sean Connery. No, oh, indeed, Henry Cooper's to putt yet. And this is Connery. A little bit of a jab, but he jabbed it. Oh, just caught the edge of the hole, so that's a five. And only one point. Henry just left with a little left. teaser. I mean inside right left. If it, break, yeah. if it breaks any way, it'll come it's this coming, way. Yeah, it's such yeah, any, anywhere in here. Yeah. Don't give up the hole, OK? Four-footer. Stands 
very close to the ball. Very upright. Very good. Good, very good. good stroke. <laughs> Two points for Henry Cooper. So the sportsmen go into a two-point lead. Nine to seven. The next hole is the sixth. Uh, Henry Cooper got a par. The rest of the contingent all dropped a stroke. Rather untidy hole. So after uh, their third hole, the sportsmen 12 and the entertainers now nine. Now on to the seventh, their fourth, 436 yards, very pleasant hole up through the valley. There's lots and lots of very hard, uh, rough heather, all sorts of trouble waiting as Trevino launches one away and with that low flying left to right shot, one feels Almost impossible for him to miss the fairway. And Ballesteros. Three wood again. Oh. No, no. And he's pushed no, no. that way out into the... Four on the right. Get down. Get down, ball. And that's very close to the in road. America would tell you that that's in Marlborough country. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't... You see how well he listens? <laughs> 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 Trevino making the point that Ballesteros perhaps a little bit youthful in his exuberance and oh, oh. Henry's oh, hit one off the toe, push it away up into the trees, way out, so two wild drives there from Ballesteros and Henry Cooper, but he may have got a lucky bounce, but I think Ballesteros will be very fortunate to find his, uh, Sean Connery. Both our celebrities get a stroke. Come on, come on, right. That uh, was okay, a bit sir. off the back okay, end again. Cutting round low right. and cutting. Not very elegant, but <coughs> maybe all right. Did you see mine? Are you on the fairway, Henry? No. Not this fairway. Not our fairway. Not our fairway. Not fair Oh, you're okay, Henry. You're three on now. So did I? It's awfully hard because if you kick it, you don't want to. You want to make sure you don't go through. We don't want to go into the. Uh, yeah, you want to hit it. You need just to firm and forward, eh? Eighty yards is all you need, eh? Huh? You're okay. right. Well, there you see the classic position. Uh, Cooper's got a seven iron. He's, he can't really do much with it, but he must try and cut his losses, get it out, and I think Perfect. he's done very well. Good out. Nice shot, Henry. Good shot indeed. Perfect out. Yeah. Connery with a forward. Again, came over the top of it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And cut it Big up, shot, but yeah. it's going yeah. to hold. Big bully. Nice good shot. Very good shot. Yeah, good Just shot. off the putting surface, as you can see. Third shot for Henry That's Cooper. A great shot. With a three wood, and it's on line. Oh, very shot. much on line. What a stroke. Might Beautiful be a little long, but it, yeah. but it looked good. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, you're playing off six now, eh? Three <laughs> well, now, how about that for a spot? Almost shoulder height and ferns. And very lucky to have found it. And there it is. And this is the sort of shot that keeps uh, chiropractors in business if he... Just happens to pull a muscle or two. Oh, crashes it as hard as he can and as well to get it out. In a divot like that, hanging live, how do you handle it? Well, as you can see, that divot is running straight, in other words, uh, for the flag there. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not really going to be that difficult of a shot. I hope that I can hit it the way I'm supposed to, but actually it wouldn't be difficult. When this shot is difficult is when the divot is running away from, from the way that, that you want to go. But people make too much of this shot. They get very, they get afraid of this particular shot and try to help the ball up. Instead of taking one more club, instead of a six taking a five, choking it and compressing the ball down into the ground to, you know, to utilize the grooves. How far are we, Willie? 156. To cut. In other words, to utilize the grooves in the club to make the ball come up. So I've got a five here. 
Yeah. Play it back a little bit and just bump it. Yeah, okay. Took off a little elf, but uh, there you go. I got a Catholic kick to the right and <laughs> everything will be all right. Hey? And that's the way it's done. Fine shot from Trevino. Now Ballesteros is third shot, seven iron. And needed a touch more. No. And, oh, the next hole, uh, I don't know if you've seen the next hole or not, par five. Yeah. He can drive it down to the bottom of the hill if he hits a good drive. Must he, must probably he hit an iron second? on the green. Oh, well, he'll probably today. I would say... Uh, mm -hmm. You know, playing a practice round and playing that hole, I would say he would probably crack driver today and probably five iron. Cool. There. And we're hitting the driver and something oh. like a four wood. Well, I'm hitting, like a wet I'm hitting, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, I, in the practice round the other day, I hit a driver, a three wood, a four wood, a one iron, a wedge, and I was still short. I can't get to that hole. <laughs> but uh, he has tremendous length, this young man. Yeah. He's uh, he's going to win a lot of, a lot of major championships. A lot of big ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure a lot of people would agree with those words of Lee Trevino, Malasteros, the most exciting, I think, golfing talent uh, in the world whoa, today. Whoa, 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 stop, stop. And tries hard to get it to stop. Sean, a little run up with a six iron. He's now played three. Malasteros, long, long putt. This is his fourth shot. Good line. I don't know. We've got a man here that knows his greens uh, like his like his just like front that. room. Guess what? Mistake. All mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Now you get a good view of that very upright putting style of Henry Cooper's. Look how straight the wrists are. Very close to the feet with the ball. Tall man, of course, over six feet. Very upright, just draws it back, gives a little pop, and it disappears. <laughs> and how's that for a four? Well, 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 a four, net three, and three points. What a beautiful little ball. You think, you think, you think, you think he's supposed to have touch. You know how many hands, how many bodies he's, he's, he's had his hands on? <laughs> <laughs> Male bodies, male bodies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Too bad, huh? <laughs> well, we won't go into that. Trevino now. After that very nicely played second, he's trying for a three and oh, he shaves it. It's a four and two points. Huh? Uh, four, Henry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, good, solid for Trevino. Connery. This for a four, net three, and three points. Yeah, well done. Well, I am the amateur here, I think. Hey. Sevi is making the point he thinks he's playing like the amateur, but he taps it in after that wild drive for a five and just one point. So the scores now, Sportsman 17, Entertainer 13, and the Sporting Tights galloping away, and we come to the 13th, 562 yards, Loch Aneary, down the hill. The long hitters will get over the brow of the hill, down the steep bank, down there, and then the hole swings round to the left. Trees guarding the green on the left side, water on the right. Trevino's tee shot. <laughs> There's a bunker on top of the hill in the middle of the fairway, which ca can catch the unwary. He's gone by the side of it. There she goes. Will it go? Still going. That's good drive. Got the right kick and bounce off the hill 
Uh, Ballesteros. Now, will he really let one go here? Depends so much on the pitch. The further you carry it, really no uh, great advantage. Hold on, advantage. Might be, no, it's perfect. That's, That's perfect. perfect. That's perfect. Unless it catches up. Pushed it a bit to the right, you see, and does not get the kick down the hill. Well, you know, Henry, you know, he plays well. He plays golf very well. Uh, first time I've ever got to, to, to meet Henry. But uh, has a good swing, strong swing, uh, for a left-hander. Uh, he, he cuts the ball uh, a little from, uh, from right to left for a left-hander, and that's a cut, as you know. But you know, the, the strong point about him is, is his putting. It's amazing for a big man the touch he has on the green. And a good line. Good yes, line. he does. Yes, very good. Sean's well, just cutting across here a bit, Sally. Yes, he crossed the, uh, you know, the, the swing because he don't use much the, le much the legs, you yeah. see. But uh, he controlled the ball very well, and uh, he's a very good player. He plays a lot of uh, competitive play. Oh, yes. That's yeah. very hard. That's a beautiful good one down the middle. That's the best one of the day right there. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Lee, with Seve going to um, play on the American tour this year, um, are there any little bits of advice, whether it's on travel arrangements, how to go about his business, uh, that you could give him? A little tip. Well, here's, here's a, you know, the most exciting golf prospect in the world today, about to set mm -hmm. off into a new continent, mm -hmm. um, speaking Spanish and English, but yeah. he's going to, you know, he's, he's got lots of things to do and learn. What a little yeah. tip for him on this. One of the things, and, and I may get in trouble by saying this, but one of the things and, and, and the best advice that I can get, give Seve is to be himself, number one. Number two, to be very careful of every tournament that he goes to. You know as well as I do, when you're in demand, you have to do a tremendous amount of press interviews and with radio, television, uh, uh, magazines. Every magazine is going to want to do an article on him. Every magazine is going to want an exclusive interview. Every sports writer is going to want an exclusive interview every television, every radio. And what will happen to him, if he's not careful, is that, uh, is that he'll be spending most of the time doing nothing but interviews and neglect what got him over there in the first place in his hard yeah. work. But yes. it's hard to say no if you've oh, not been used to saying it's, no. It's you very, think you're being rude. Yes, if you it don't is, say. but you're not being rude. No, no it's no. just something you have to have some time for yourself. Yeah. And, and Are you listening? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got quite an old head on these young shoulders. He sure has. <laughs> well, Henry Cooper, second shot forward from the top of the hill. Good shot, Henry. Super head. Super head. There you've got a good view of the angle, dog leg, and Henry Cooper safely down, 60, 70 yards short. <laughs> uh, Sean Connery on the top of the hill. A five wood, just playing it towards. That clump of trees there, nice good shot. Good one, shot. sitting on that little yeah. island in the yeah. middle of the lake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfectly placed. Oh yeah, he's probably. Yeah, but what's his shot? He's probably two fifty in there. No, I, I, what? He he might. He probably hit a one iron in there. That's what it is. Sure. Watch this. Watch this. Maybe a. Hey. Me two iron. So, Ballesteros from a long way away, must be all of 240, 250 yards from the putting surface, but you can see he's perched on top of the hill, didn't get the run down. Two iron. Oh, take that. That's magical. That may be over. Absolutely stupendous shot. That gives a hand for me right there. Champ, unbelievable. Wonderful shot indeed. Now from 40 yards further up, Trevino with a three iron. Squirts it over the corner, working it, using the contours, and there she trundles onto the green. Teddy. Well, you know, the thing that fascinates me about him is, like I tell you, he's, a, he's, he's better than I am. But I can beat him because, like I said, he doesn't know how to think yet. But as soon as, as, soon as, as, soon as he learns, huh? when he learns to think, he's going to be unbeatable. I mean, you can't beat him. Third shot, Sean Connery. 
70 odd yards away oh, oh a little bit edgy bit right and catches the bank and just stops short of the wall Oh, 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 there's a skinner. I was trying to lay that open and get it up. Real oh, skinner. A little bit of rain starting up now. Drizzling down. Connery. Oh, he's concentrating too hard to worry about the spot of rain. You can see the sort of lie has difficult Pretty shot. Right. Played it well. Played it oh, very well indeed. Well, that's a poor shot. Henry, in fact, whilst that was going on, has trundled one down from the back of the green a bit short there it is not one of his best and the rain quite heavy now so it's still Henry Cooper playing five they both receive strokes and another good putt Another very good putt. Now, will he just be able to tap that one in? Or will he mark it? I think, yes, he can obviously stand. He won't be standing on anyone else's line. If he pops this one in, that's a six, net five. It is a par five. Indeed, he can, and that's two points. Shot drop there, really, for Henry, with that third shot. Topped across the green. Now Trevino for an eagle three. Oh, I see it all. Cries of oh. Rather un Trevino like putt. You can see he's gone at least a yard. And four feet past the hole. Now, Sevillano. Very holdable putt for a three. This for four points. Just turned, you can see it all the way. So that's a four, good four, after that marvellous second shot. Three points for Ballesteros. And did you hear that clap of thunder? The old clouds are beginning to pile up there, looking very ugly indeed. And of course, Lee Trevino had that terrible accident with uh, lightning a year or two ago. He'll be conscious of that. Uh-oh, uh well now. Oh, I should have got away from it, eh? Well, I should have got away from it. He was just disturbed a little bit. No, stay, stay. Straight? Yes, for sure. Worried, I'm sure, about the thunder and lightning. You don't get struck by lightning and forget it easily. Well, Sean wanting to take a, a, a bit of borrow and Severy insisting that it's straight. And he got it in. So that's a net four for Connery and three points. And that reduces the deficit a little bit but the sportsman still in the lead 21 to the entertainers 19 at the 14th the players sixth hole they all got pars except uh, poor old Henry who drove in a bunker and uh, dropped a stroke so uh, he only got one point there sportsman 24 entertainers 20 on to their seventh hole the 60s on the Queen's course lovers gate Lovers Walk, 379 yards. Delightful little hole again down between the rolling acres of this beautiful golf course. There's the green at the bottom of the hill. Quite a carry, not too difficult today. Although there is a bit of rain and thunder rolling about in the hills. No great wind against as Ballesteros drives first. Huge drive. That may be on the green. <laughs> Will it reach the putting surface? Well, there it is. You can see for yourselves. Yeah, it's on the edge. Colossal drive. Now, oh, baby. No, no, I'm all right. I want it down that right side. I can't. Okay. That's okay. Okay. It's okay. I got a straight shot in. Into the bunker. Sean Connery. Oh, it's another one on the green. Yeah. Oh, ball. Come on. 
short drive. Uh, it's two inches short. That's a hell of a shot. It's right there next to mine. Hey. <laughs> There's Connor and finally Henry Cooper. Henry gets a stroke on his own. Wait a minute, that's okay. Oh, look at that kick! No good. No, it's perfect. It came right back. I thought it would. I thought it would. Well, there's some thunder and lightning rumbling about in the hills there. You're only a point behind now. Rain must not stop play, Captain. Oh, no, we've got uh, three holes to go 16, 17, 18. Yeah. Uh, Partner's just hit it 350 odd yards. <laughs> that really was an enormous drive there, oh, sir. Yes, I and did. I like that. <laughs> when it went yeah. off. Huh? It's all I have in my <laughs> body. <laughs> you gave it everything, eh? Because yeah. you're feeling all right. Not, yes, not too well. Oh, good. <laughs> Cooper's second shot. Nine iron. Got to go over the bunker. Green sloping Five. away. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Henry's talking to himself. And that's as cross as you'll ever hear Henry sound. Banged it away, long way from the hole. But he's got a stroke. Now Trevino. Little punch with the sand wedge. Ah, it's got to come left. Oh, it won't go too far. It's pin high. Oh, uh, well, a little bit past pin high. Connery with pitching wedge. Oh, come on, come on, come oh. on. No. Misjudged it. Oh. Oh. Ballesteros, after that huge drive, just chipping one up and letting it trundle, trundle, trundle round. Nice touch. Connery, same sort of line as Seviano, and a very good putt indeed. his ball as Henry Cooper plays three long putt get up Cooper coach <laughs> it gets to you this game you know here's Trevino for a three he's short as well yeah there's a lot of grass a little slow they're getting a little damp too a little damp also now, Henry, for a four. He's done it again, net three, three points. We got our three. What? First three is the best one, they say. Ballesteros for a three. Right in the center, three points. Only 18 inches or so. Oh, oh, la la. <laughs> well, it had the necessary drop. Two points. And finally, Trevino for his four and two points. So, two holes left, one point in it. Sportsman 29, entertainers 28. Now on to the 17th. 204 yards across the valley with the big drop away on the right-hand side. Huge bunker cut into the front right-hand corner of the green. Bunkers up on the left. Ballesteros with a five iron. Easy swing. No, no, he hit it fat. <laughs> he hit, no, way short, he hit it fat. He don't have to tell you, I can't. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm going to make a two today. <laughs> I've been playing with this hole long enough. Perpetual motion. Just look at that long angle. Long enough here. How wide he stands to the left. How open. Cuts right across it. Now watch. Very individual style. Now hit easy, boss. Real easy. Now come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come He never stops. Beautiful shot. Now Connery. Five iron. Good shot, Sean. That's a good one. That's all it well. A good one indeed. And Henry Cooper also using a five iron. Oh, there's a golf shot. Now there is a golf shot, folks. You have a stroke here, Henry? Oh, go in! 
Oh, look at that. Let me ask you a question. Went down too deep for that ball. You had looked to me like you had the ball teed up too high. Yeah. Yours okay. it hit the top of the five iron, hit the top of the club, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, no steel there, see. Yes. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. That's why he didn't. He didn't yeah. get any distance out of it. You notice yeah. how it sounded? Yeah. Uh, I hit the ball just right here. Uh, yeah, you hit it on top. On the top. Yes. Yes. On the top yeah. Well, there's the interested spectators looking down on the 17th green, the eighth hole in this match. Ballesteros, quite a long putt. Down the hill, and the slopes frightened him off a little bit. And you can see, left himself quite a teasing one. Connery putting as thunder rumbles about. And didn't come down. He's got it up two and a half feet or so away. And the rain, as you can see, really hammering down now. Trevino for a two. Nope. Uh, three and two points for Trevino. Bolts for cover, and just look at that. Cooper. Oh, oh, to, oh no, sir. Well, he hasn't missed many today. Knock it in, he does, for two points. Now, Ballesteros. Five, six footer for his three, and yes, sir, two points. And finally, Sean Connery, who nearly missed that little putt on the previous hole. It's only half this length, and with the rain coming down very hard indeed. It's all oh, just distracted, a bit short and a bit quick, and only one point. For Connery, as he moves away to the last tee, and that really puts the sportsman in a very good position. 33 points to the entertainers, 31. The 18th hole, 412 yards down the hill, a par four. Queen's Hame, down they come. The green nestling alongside the clubhouse and the dormy house, very attractive. Swiss tie, the chalet restaurant bar on the left hand side there's the green 18th of the queens behind it the putting green on the right there's the 18th of the kings and down the spectators come in the pouring rain uh, everyone drove off fairly well the two celebrities have played their second shots Connery just off the green at the back and Cooper short Henry Cooper gets a stroke on his own and with the sportsmen being two points ahead, they're in pretty good shape. Ballester is caddy telling him it's 120 yards to the front of the green, 135 yards altogether. Ballester is just going to play a little push with an eight iron. Bold, direct, and very good. And Trevino with a wedge. bit better than halfway. My caddy's wet. <laughs> Everybody's wet. Huh. Uh, Cooper, Henry Cooper's third shot. Oh, oh, a little edgy, a little toppy, but it's doing very well indeed. Well, it might have been a lot worse. Now, Sean Connery. Quiet. Uh, 
a way off the putting surface, as you can see, seven or eight feet. Alex to use the putter and leave the flag in the hole. Oh. I say, top that one a bit. It's worked quite well, but you can see Trundle seven or eight feet past. Now Trevino putting for a three. A smooth stroke yeah. and come on. <laughs> oh, lovely pat. No, that's a four and two points. Yeah. Henry Cooper with a stroke. Remember, this is his fourth shot. Yeah, oh, it there. Very to finish it. Just to the whole side. Henry, who's played some very good shots and putted exceptionally well, taps it in for a five net four and two points. And that really closes the entertainers out. And of course, they've still got a bit of putting to do. Severiana, first of all, for a birdie three. And again, just touches now. Four and two points. Okay, well, Connery for a four. Come on, baby. Mm, and well, three out of the four shaved the hole. So that's a five and only one point for Sean Connery. An opening victory then for the sportsman in our first match. Well, even the rain couldn't spoil a memorable game, but a win for the sportsman, 37 points to 34. And, uh, well, they really beat you a bit to death, Captain, didn't they, there, with, the, yes. with uh, Henry's putter? Yes. <laughs> this is the third time, and I'm getting sick of it. Getting sick of it? Sorry. Yes, I am. I, I wish you could tell them how we play normally together. I do apologise here to Sevi, but um, he really had a marvellous day. He did. Him, and well, yeah, we've, got, we've got nine more games to go, so, oh, yes. so plenty of time for you to get uh, back into things. Oh, yes, we have plenty of time, but uh, when I play against Lee, uh, always I lose, you see. <laughs> And the winners, of course, captaining the sporting side and partnered by Lee Trevino, Henry Cooper. Henry, you really were hot with the old putter today. Yes, I think he, I must have been inspired by this man here, you know. He, uh, well, he's he's, he's chucked me a few good lines. Inspirational. He yeah. putted awfully well. I think, uh, <laughs> I think Peter, that, that was the, the determining factor in, in the match, I think, was uh, uh, Sevy and I played about the same. Uh, I three-putted the par five where he and I both hit it uh, on the green, and we both missed short putts, as you remember. We yeah. three-putted the short uh, par three. But uh, all in all, I think it was, um, it was Henry's putter which determined the, the match. But we had fun. We had a good time. Well, we hope you did as well, because that's our opening game. Plenty more to come. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.